Hello guys, uh, this is Jacob. Uh, I'm making a video uh, to uh, do a comparison between uh, Kalman uh, as an open source alternative to uh, Google's uh, latest uh, notebook LM. So um, I have another video to show you how to install uh, Kalman locally. Um, feel free to check that out. So uh, that being said, let's get started. So today, um, Basically, we're just trying to do a comparison between um, the two um, software or two frameworks uh, for the document chatting. So I think it's just getting popular. So um, if you uh, search for Kalman on Google, so we basically open the GitHub page. Uh, it's from the Cinnamon uh, Kalman. So you will be able to see um, it's uh, very popular. It's the number one repository of the day. Uh, so to set it up, just go through the document. There's a couple of ways to set it up. I also demonstrated in the other video. So um, we'll briefly cover that in this video as well. So what you have to do, uh, just um, for testing purpose, just open a, a cable notebook. You can do the exact same thing on a virtual machine on Linux box, uh, but this is uh, easier to actually demo on uh, cable notebooks. So first we uh, just um, also like, uh, create a function to run the bash command in Python. Um, and then we basically set up Olama. So um, we also have another video to cover how to set up Olama on Kaggle. And feel free to check that out as well. Then we set up a supervisor. This is basically to make sure that Olama works um, more stable. So um, because sometimes Olama it's not going to work all the time, so you have to restart it. Uh, so these two uh, supervisors just make sure Olama runs more stable. Uh, also, it's going to be on CPU instead of GPU. Because uh, if you run supervisor, uh, Olama is not going to run on the GPU uh, for Kaggle. So if you want to use GPU for Olama, just use the uh, system uh, command that's specified in here. So, uh, okay, and let's continue. So then uh, this is basically the supervisor setup um, and you can feel free to check out a few other videos. They all have, have it. Um, so let's go to um, the uh, Olama models. So basically you have to download two models. One is for the uh, NLP model, the LLM model. So let's just use Olama 3.1. And this is released not um, too long ago, um, maybe a month or two months ago. and then. Another is to embedding models. So you, you do need to install the non embed tags. So this is another uh, model for uh, embedding, which is going to use in the economy. Then we just do, uh, you know, on uh, our list to check out if they're actually downloaded correctly. Then uh, we can install Kotom, basically to install uh, these two um, uh, packages or two libraries. Um, we basically first install all the dependencies and then we install the KTEM. Um, that's uh, pretty much the setup. Also, you have to install a couple of uh, uh, packages, uh, like the PDF from Mozilla. Um, basically, to create a, a, a directory and then just uh, dump the uh, Mozilla PDF.js file into it. And here comes a very uh, uh, important uh, piece, which is the uh, com conversion of Kalman. So uh, in the last video, uh, which uh, basically to show you guys uh, just a local model, right? You can use actually local model or open AI uh, or uh, Grok. Uh, so which is open AI kind of like open source alternative, but it's using open source models. So it doesn't have the uh, open AI uh, GPT 4.0 or anything in from open AI. It's uh, basically compatible with open AI, but it's all like open source models. So we just set up the local model as Olama. And uh, in this um, tutorial, we'll basically use the uh, embedded model instead of the um, local model. So we don't use local model. Instead, we use uh, Grok uh, models. So um, we basically specify the OpenAI API base as Grok. And then basically we specify the API keys, which you can get it from Grok, Grok console. And uh, you just specify what model you want to use, which is OpenAI chat model. So they use Llama 3.170B uh, versatile. Then we, um, because um, OpenAI, um, we're actually using the Grog. So Grog doesn't have an embedding model. So we can just skip the uh, 
uh, embeddings model and then instead we'll use the OAMA embeddings model in this case and also how to set up the PDF.js so that's all for the configuration um, so then uh, for if you use Kago then you have to also expose the uh, uh, notebooks instance to public so you have to install ungrok um, so um, you, you can check that on, on out on the other video and then uh, you just have to also um, basically uh, make sure that uh, the app, uh, app.py is updated so uh, it will not um, spin up the uh, gradio uh, so we turn the share to false uh, by default it's share to true which means you will uh, stop gradio but gradio doesn't work very well with kaggle so instead we use ungrok right? so that's what we specified and use ungrok in here uh, so then this is all the setup uh, so um, in this demo we will actually see a production um, version of the Kanemo instead of the Kaggle version so it's easier to demo because um, the Kaggle has some issue with the Kanemo like the document upload or indexing and uh, there are a few issues so uh, Kaggle is good for uh, to demo Kanemo but uh, for production uh, or testing um, like heavy testing uh, I think uh, try to use a production box uh, which um, you have a, if you have a GPU that's great if you don't have a GPU on the virtual box uh, use a, a fairly large memory it should work as well so um, now uh, we basically uh, just uh, set up a uh, production um, uh, Kalmo instance like that so just go to research.sub2a.com you will be able to see uh, uh, basically these uh, Kalmo so the a document we upload you can just uh, drop the document in here so just uh, drop the document and then you better uh, get the doc um, basically um, you know just a drop or just upload it so um, in this uh, demo or in this uh, test scenario we just use one document from uh, Texas Real Estate Research Center so um, so basically what we're trying to do uh, is to uh, basically upload this PDF this um, document is just talking about um, the 2024 at Texas Veritate forecast. So it's actually did uh, very early this year. So we just use this uh, article as demonstration purpose. So you can actually download the PDFs from the bottom of this page. Uh, and then basically this is a PDF. Um, so then uh, we just have to upload it in uh, Kahnemo. So you can see, uh, we just ask Kahnemo, so how the real estate market in Texas look like in 2024. So Kanemo uh, basically replied um, nicely. This is from Grok, right? So this Grok actually responds uh, Kanemo, and also uh, we've got all these references. Basically, the, um, Kanemo pull out all the references from this uh, PDF we uploaded. So, um, so basically, this also gives you uh, more insights of where this answer comes from, right? So you have the uh, image you'll have the uh, relevance score uh, basically uh, also the LM relevance score so which is nice so it gives you more details about why um, it come up with the answer in the chat box right so um, but on um, notebook LM um, the uh, structure is a little bit different let's go back to the notebook. So if you um, want to use the notebook LM to um, test it, just search for Google and search for notebook LM. So go to the this link, uh, basically the uh, first link, notebook lm.google. So you basically um, try that out. So basically it's an experiment, right? It's an experimental tool. So just try LM, LM, try notebook LM then you can open up this page so and upload the document so the same document that we uploaded from uh, uh, Karma so the exact same document we we'll ask the exact same questions basically do a set to by set comparison between these two um, tools right these two tools so uh, we upload the same documentation um, the cool thing about the notebook LM at this point is that so it also gives you a summary I give you a summary right away after you upload the document and uh, another thing for um, the uh, notebook LM is basically um, it give you a reference inside 
uh, the response. So you can see actually when, when they answer a question, right, we answer this question, it gives you all the answers, but also it embeds the um, context from the PDF. Right? So it basically tells you kind of, um, you know, why, and this is um, the answer that it, it generated. Right? And the other thing is, um, it basically also give you a, a lot of the prompt that gen generate you probably want to ask. So it's like the suggestion um, prompt. So it's basically give you a lot of different um, options. You might want to ask this, right? You might not want to ask this, which is very nice. Um, so you can just start typing and then keep on asking questions. So, but um, overall, it's very similar for um, the economy. So it's very similar kind of and um, um, so the uh, other thing for Kahneman is that um, because it supports a lot of different models, I don't know if an, um, Notebook LM supports all the models or you can switch it from models like from OpenAI or from like Grok or other uh, serv service providers, but for Kahneman, it, support, it supports a lot of models. If you can see, um, basically, uh, you can just go to resources, go to LMs, um, it can actually support OpenAI and it su supports Cloud A and supports Grok, Coheres, and it can, it can actually add another model as you prefer. So this is very powerful. Like, um, Also, you can um, basically uh, use OpenAI because OpenAI um, can use Grok endpoints because Grok is uh, OpenAI compatible. It's just um, use open source models. Uh, you can use OpenAI as um, uh, the default option, if you want to switch to Grok as a default option, you just have to specify the API key, base your model, and then uh, set it as a default, then you click test, you can test if it works, and then just save it as a default. So you can see this as a default. Then for the embedded models, um, we have uh, open embedded models, Olama embedded models, because we actually use Olama. Um, so this is what we uh, saw earlier um, in this video, right? So basically we use Olama nomic embed tags, and then uh, this is basically set as a default. So as a default uh, embedded model. Um, so this is everything um, that's gonna basically help people to um, chat with the documents, right? So you can select the model you prefer. Um, basically, I, I don't think they have a limit uh, for uh, all the documents that can be processed. I think for um, uh, Notebook LM, it does come with a limit. I think it's 50 notebooks or something. Um, so uh, overall, I think the um, uh, Cardamom is a very nice alternative for a document chat um, as for the uh, Notebook LM. So definitely feel free to check this out. It's a really good tool. Um, that really helps uh, to uh, do the marketing research. Um, and uh, that being said, um, hope this video is helpful. And uh, if you do like this video, um, please comment, uh, subscribe, or like it. Um, so that definitely helps with the channel and help me to um, understand if this video is helpful to you. Or a similar video to yourself, you also can create more of these videos. Uh, thank you so much. Um, see you in the next one.